Deborah with Pinching Pesos here, and it's Tuesday, so it's time for They Paid What? Sales update time. Uh, this week was a little better than last week on eBay sales, and it was better on Amazon than it was the week before. Um, I'm still not doing a whole lot of listing on eBay right now. I haven't been sourcing for eBay. I've been sourcing for Amazon. Um, so it shows in my sales on eBay. I am finished with my FBA shipment that I've been working on for the last week, and so I will be working on eBay tomorrow. So hopefully that's going to bring me some more sales. I did run a 50% off, and it was a true legitimate 50% off sale. I didn't like jack up the prices and then say, oh, it's 50% off. Um, I just went in my store and I priced almost the entire thing 50% off. I did add shipping to everything um, that didn't have shipping already included, but 80% of my stores generally I charge shipping, so I, it didn't. It wasn't that many things that I had to change, and I just bulk edited it. It wasn't too difficult. So anyway, here's our numbers for the week. I sold 14 things on eBay for a total of $283, and let's see what we had going. Uh, the very first thing I sold was the uh, filter, water filter holder for that coffee maker that I sold the other grinder part for, the one that I didn't like that I actually used for personal use, and um, this was the filter holder for it, so it actually went on best offer for $7, and then plus shipping, so no biggie. I, I think I paid $6.99 for the entire machine, so uh, I'm already running a profit anyhow. Uh, the next thing I sold was these Elsa uh, face palette. I bought these at Walgreens to sell them on Amazon. A lot of the things that I bought I couldn't send in because they were uh, eyelashes. And um, and then there, some of them just weren't selling for very much money. Or I noticed that they were selling for the exact same price on eBay. And since eBay fees are cheaper than FBA fees, um, I went ahead and just listed them on eBay, and I sold one, and these were on deep, deep, deep discount, and I'm not really sure why. I think this particular Walgreens that I bought these at uh, ran out of space, because I went to two other Walgreens, and they were full price for all of their uh, Elsa makeup, so who knows, but I got them for like a dollar or something. And I know they're regular, like $7.99 and $9.99 uh, for some of the things that I got. Next up was, man, I have had these shoes forever. Uh, normally, shape-ups, I sell really quickly. Shape-ups and fit flops, they don't last for, you know, more than a couple months, and they're gone. And this pair, I have had, you can tell it is on the teal background. I haven't used a teal background in, like, Six months or more so yeah these have been around for a while um, I think they've been around since last summer I thought they were gonna sell then and they didn't but they went off to New York I paid 20 uh, sold them for $24.95 I paid um, I think $6.99 for these and uh, they gone so uh, these are the rust-oleums that I had bought before uh, I sold before uh, I paid $13.08 for them at Home Depot, and I actually sold two to the same person, and so the, I actually got the price for one. They, they essentially got buy one, get one free, because I had them 50% off, and they got a steal of a deal, um, because these are $59 at the store, but I still made a profit. I still came out, you know, making like 10 bucks after fees on each one of them and um, they got a great a great deal so 24.97 is what um, I sold each one of them for uh, I've sold finally this Berenstain Bear set I actually had this listed on Etsy and I thought it would have sold over there fairly quickly because this isn't a very common Berenstain Bear set um, but they didn't but uh, they did sell when they were on sale, and you can see now how deceiving the prices are, because it doesn't say that it was on sale. It's not telling you the price that this item actually sold for, and I sold it for half of that price. So 
Uh, I don't know why eBay is getting all deceiving with the not letting us see the best offer thing. That's a video I have if you need to figure out how to uh, view the best offers that were accepted, or you can also go to watchcount.com um, and use their feature that they have. Uh, but I don't know why they're hiding prices from us, but yeah, that went half price. So um, you can see over here, I sold it for $19.97 plus shipping. So... But still good because I paid a uh, dollar ninety nine for the set. Um, and Cuisinart parts. This wasn't supposed to be on sale. This went on sale by accident, and it had free shipping on there as well. But I lucked out because the guy that bought uh, the piece. Oh well, I'm getting ahead of myself. But anyway, uh, the lid sold for seven forty seven free shipping. I did not. Uh, want it to be that way, but that's okay. I paid $3.99 for the entire set. Um, so I didn't lose any money because it shipped out first class. And um, so I probably even, even with my mistake, even with it being half price when it wasn't supposed to be and being free shipping, um, I still probably made a dollar. <laughs> so no big deal. This was something that I actually had in my house. I had gotten this in a kit, and I don't know if any of you guys. Are familiar with houseparty.com but houseparty.com basically is a word-of-mouth advertising thing so when new products come out they what they do is they send you a party pack and they expect you to invite 10 to 12 of your friends over for them to try out this new product this came in a set for a party um, that I didn't end up having and then I had it in my cabinet forever and so it sold half price for two dollars and some change and uh, plus shipping so I, I made a couple bucks on it but I just thought it was really funny that somebody was like I really need some mango twang and like oh I know where I'll find some on eBay <laughs> but anyway uh, here was my they paid what moment of the week these are cassette holders and they sold for half price so they went for forty four ninety seven plus shipping and um, I paid a dollar ninety nine for each one of them so uh, eight bucks and sold them for forty five dollars and then the next thing these sold as well these sold at night so I didn't even know that um, they were selling for too low of a price because it was nighttime and I was sleeping, but the guy that bought uh, the lid and the pusher actually bought, you know, he bought two, so they got to go in the same box, so I actually made more money on this particular mistake sale. Um, and then this Starbucks bean grinder, I've had this thing for a long time. You can see it's on the teal background. Um, I thought it was going to sell right away. I had it priced competitively at 19.95. I didn't think I was going to have the issue that I'm have it that I had selling it, but it took a long time to sell, but I sold it for half price, so it went for $9.97 right there plus shipping. So, I paid 2.99 for it, so I still made money on it being half price. And last but not least was the this Hamilton Beach Stay and go thermal craft, and you've heard me talk about thermal crafts before. The person that got this got a steal of a deal because they generally sell for higher prices. I wonder if these people have lower prices just because I had a lower price. I wonder if they're new. Because when I looked originally looked these up, these particular um, crafts were selling for twenty dollars, and that's why I priced it that way. But anyway, um, I paid two ninety nine for it, and it sold for nine ninety seven. So. Still made some money. And Amazon, that was all my sales for the week, but Amazon did really well. You can see here that I had $428 worth of sales, and uh, that was on 24 units, 18 orders. I actually sold a lot of uh, these flea treatments that I had bought on clearance at the grocery store. They, I guess, clearanced them out because they ran out of shelf space because the items were still there. Like, the shelf was full and they were full price, but these had $5 stickers on them that the cashier had to, like, key in because, obviously, if they're still on the shelf, the UPC is going to scan full price. 
So uh, I filled a bunch of those. I think I actually sold out. And um, like you can see right here, pet supplies. I sold 13 of them, and that was all I had. And so anyway, so Amazon's doing really well. I'm really excited about that. I am actually going to start doing a weekly trip to do retail arbitrage on purpose because so far everything that I've bought for Amazon that was at a retail location I was there for something else I was there because I was grocery shopping or we were buying something at the hardware store or I was picking up a prescription at Walgreens or whatever I haven't actually ever gone out and um, did retail arbitrage like left my house with the intentions of finding things to buy at a retail store so Anyway, that was my sales for the week, and I will have a haul video coming up this week, obviously, because I'm going to go shopping. So I hope everybody's having a really fantastic sales, you know, and finding really great items, lots of treasures. So anyway, you guys have a really great week. Thanks for watching my channel. If you ever have any questions, leave a comment below. I try to run through and answer them all. So have a great week. Happy selling, happy buying. Bye, guys.